I am about 23 hours in my room and I spend all, all the time in my room. There is no place to go. I am a musician. Actually, I was a guitar maker. For me, I can paint, I can play music, I can try to write poetry. When I feel, I just play. My name is Farhad Bandesh. I am a Kurdish refugee. I am at the Mantra Hotel with around 65 refugees who are locked up. We were transferred to Australia for medical treatment on their Medivac bill. No one has treated after nine months here. Everyone is panicking because of the coronavirus. Getting worse day by day, the people here, they are really scared. They don't want to die. They just want to survive. That's why they fled their countries. The protest was really wonderful, it was something special for me and others. I think it was the best ever. Yeah, no, I received a fine. So as I was driving into Hotham Street, they asked me about the signs on my car and I said, is it illegal to have signs on your car? And they implied that protest in general is illegal, um, which is so alarming. Oh, I didn't make it to the car cavalcade. Uh, the police came around to my house about 12 noon and asked if I was one of the organisers of the protest and I said yes and they said in that case um, I was under arrest. So I've been charged with incitement which is actually not under the health laws but under the 1958 uh, Crimes Act but you know our protest was safe as detention centres that aren't. We had planned a car protest, a convoy outside the um, Mantra Hotel in Preston where around 70 refugees are currently being held. So a lot of them have health conditions, Crohn's disease, lung, heart problems, all sorts of, you know, quite serious things. We think it's a matter of time before um, COVID-19 uh, devastates detention centres. We were um, driving up Bell Street, which the um, Mantra Hotel is on, and um, you know, honking our horns and playing Moz's song really loudly and, and, and finding other ways to get our message out there. But as we were driving up, police started pulling people up. There was a huge police presence. It was incredible. That was the moment at which the physical distancing and the safety concerns kicked in because there were a lot of police leaning into our cars. So up until then, it was a very, very safe protest. The police powers that they've been given are, are about protecting people. We were there to show compassion and, and to say these people need to protect themselves as well. The right to protest, especially when it's extremely important and it's an extreme injustice and the, the risks of death are so high. Once this virus gets into a detention centre, there's every chance that it's going to get carried out again. And it's going to affect public health. And it's going to affect people in the community. Because all those guards, they don't self-isolate. If people were to be released and um, where they would go is simple because there is a lot of community detention housing that's actually empty. It's just sitting there empty. So they could go straight into community detention housing.